Let's go welcome to the next episode of Fall. The new Jaegus really I stepped off. I asked you guys what DLC we should do next. And here we are. We're gonna do old world blues. We're gonna take a look at it. We're gonna do a little uh do a little exploration and see, you know, there's there's really three that stood out from what you guys had mentioned in the comments. One was Old World Blues, the other one was Honest Hearts, and then the third one, I believe, was the Lonesome. Uh, lonesome road so we're gonna check these out we're just gonna see how they go um, but we got to be here it looks like midnight it looks like so let's go ahead and wait here I'm excited because um, a couple people said I'm not in a position to uh, to take on one of the DLCs meaning we're not strong enough and that's kind of the one I'd like to do because it'll be challenging whoa Illuminati that's odd a crash satellite seems to be the source of a strange transmission. Old World Blues recommended for experienced couriers over, over level 15. You have a premonition that will, you'll be unable to return the Mojave until you solve the mysteries of the Big Empty. You will be able to take anything you can carry with you. And you will be able to return to Big Empty anytime after completing Old World Blues. Are you open to the challenge? Yes. Let's do it. You've lost Veronica's scribe assistant perk. Veronica has returned to 188 trading post. You've lost Rex. Rex returned to Freeside. Here, let's go, boys. Here we go. What happened? Fall at New Yegas. Old World Blues. That's like some Quentin Tarantino stuff right there. In the years before the Great War... Big Mountain had been the home to the brightest minds of the 21st century. Scientists of vision were drawn to the facility to tackle the greatest technological challenges of the era. They sought to create a new world, fueled by technology for the benefit of all mankind. Sonic emitters, space-age alloys, DNA hybridization, force field particle cool. research, autodoc advances in cranial, cardiac, and trauma surgery. The hopes and dreams of a century became realities in the electronic forges of Big Very Mountain. Very cool, so it's like a super sci-fi area. The nucleus of this research was the dome. A huge stone facility that held the labs of every science known to man. It was a think tank where no problem could not be solved, hmm. where no question could not be answered. Do we get to blow it up? The Great War brought a new energy to Big Mountain and its scientists. Although sheltered from the front lines, the scientists waged their own war, fighting their battles at the atomic level. Kay. Equations and calculations marched endlessly across chalkboards and computer terminals toward one solution. Winning the war. War never changes. For years, the mines and computers suit. of Big Mountain were a blaze of trajectories, weapon schematics, and nuclear theories. The problems began to outpace the solutions, first geometrically, then exponentially. As the war escalated, so did the questions. On the night Boom. of October 23rd, 2077, the scientists received an answer that put all their questions to rest. In the aftermath, Big Mountain's silent experiments went to sleep. Hmm. Their creators slowly dying in the new world that had been left behind. And the great stone in the middle of the Big Empty lay untouched. Let's go get it, boys. Countless technological wonders. Wonders that, in the end, had been answers to the wrong question. What was the question? Hmm. It's interesting. I'm excited because I'm guessing it's going to look like a whole new landscape. You feel strangely heavier. Quick inspection of your body reveals faint surgical scars around your head, chest, and back. What? Patient gown was equipped. Welcome to the big empty. What are we wearing? 
Find out where the hell you are. This is bizarre. Open a door to the sink. Let's look around here first. I'm not sitting on a bench. This is... Turpentine. We have no need for that. We're not taking... Take some bottle caps. I'll never pass up on caps. Paperweight. Hmm. Sunset Saspy. We'll take all those every time. Alright, so we're in some bizarro world. Let's go to the sink. Cool, I like this. It's a change of scenery to say the least. Activate hot plate. <laughs> Um, yeah, we'll take all this stuff. Fresh pear, fresh apple. Never know what you're going to need. Talk to biological research station. Personality files damage. Insert backup holotape, okay? This is, like, pretty clean here. Mentance. Flour. Never seen that before. Whole wheat flour. Let's press on. Sync Central Intelligence Unit. Okay, so we don't know who we are. Where are we? Book shoot. Okay, all this stuff is busted because we don't have a card. That's where we came from. Everything's busted here. Open that. That's a cool looking safe. Pre war book. Take some caps. A little new fresh exploration here. More caps. Muggy. He's so little. Securitron. Mark one and two. Ralphie. Mad scientist scrubs. Where's all of our armor and stuff? Put that on for right now to see what we look like. Bunch of empty lockers. Alright, looks like we gotta go to that, uh... Police baton. No thank you. Poster. Everything's busted. Everyth nothing works in the future. Let's go to the think tank. Fe a strange feeling of pacifism comes over you. And for some reason, you cannot draw your weapons for some reason. That's not what I was hoping for. Whoa. What the heck? I thought I heard the pacification field kick in. All right. Nobody move. That brain. I'll handle this. Be warned, intruder! You are in the presence of a mighty think tank of Big Mountain! The collective geniuses of... We! Why, Oppenheimer, which one of you self-professed geniuses has been adjusting my volume knob? Who was it? Was it's it you, Eric? bizarre. Doctor O, was it? Likely story. O couldn't spark two neurons if they were in a lattice of biomed gel. What? Me? Breaking news, Klein. It wasn't what me, all right? I'm on? the robotical engineer. A to sound waves. That's his specialty. You always do this. You always demean me in front of guests. And it's not O, all right? It's... Enough! Either of you do it again, it'll be the last time. Now... No. Bizarre. Great. Now I forgot what I was saying. What was I talking about? Um, I was at a theater, then I was here. What is this place? Did, did it just say something? Anyone catch that? Boros, you work with animals. Translate. It's a lobotomite. Here, in the dome. Did we get a lobotomy done? Oh, as if this situation couldn't get any worse. Now we've got lobotomites. Dalla! Get the spray before it excretes all over everything. Lobotomite. Dr. Klein, if my hypothesis is correct, this lobotomite is the repository of the brain we sent the signal to. 
the skin envelope. Skin, once contained skin envelope. It. If so, it's proof that there may indeed be something beyond the crater. Just look at it. The way it blinks. It's like a big hairless teddy bear. What? I know what it is, Dollar. I want to know why it's down here. With its its limbs all over everything. What? And are those penises I see wriggling on its feet? What? Disgusting. I believe those are toes, Dr. Klein. Little teddy bear toes. Penises are much larger than those tiny extremities. Yeah, not that I would know. I don't recall the human penis ever being that large. It depends on one's own frame of reference, Dr. O. Look at its little nose with its two orifices for ingesting oxygen. Noses? By the great static. These lobotomites confound me with their sheer number of useless extremities. Science. Hold up one finger, point itself. Hold up one finger, point itself. Point at them, hold up five fingers. Wave hands and nod. Let's give him some science. Now it's holding up an array of fully erect hand penises. If it tries to insert them, activate vivisectors. Dr. Clyde. Wait. I... I don't believe those gestures were random. Random at all. It's been following our conversation. The lobotomite understands us. I agree with Boros's histrionic findings. This little lobotomite is unusually attentive for something whose brain has been extracted. What? Nonsense! Lobotomites can't comprehend us! Ace, have you been in the men's hats again? If we slow down our oral processor receptors to understand this excretion, we'll all be rendered ignorant. All of you, power down, shut up, and let me prove once and for all how on? wrong you all are. As usual, Lobotomite, do you understand me? Can creepy you eyes. speak? No, not to cut your speech off. Is there something coming in on the big monitor? I don't give a crap what you have to say. Tell me what you did. Um, who are you all and what is this place? I don't give a crap what you have to say. Tell me why you hauled me here. That response seemed demanding as if cutting to the case. Uh, chase. How surgical. Reminds me of... Dr. Klein, a transmission from the Forbidden Zone, coming right at us. It can only be... If it isn't my old colleagues, the mighty think tank of the Big Mountain. Big fools, all of you. It is I, Dr. Mobius, transmitting from my dome-shaped dome in the Forbidden Zone, a zone that is... Even now, my deadly robo-scorpions swarm across Big Mountain with their pincers and pointy laser tails. Soon, all science will be mine! Even the technology sealed in the Big Mountain Research Centers cannot save you. So cower in your feet! Just giving us exactly what we need to do. For the end. That's all. Uh, goodbye. Mobius. Always the same broadcast. He's clearly mad, driven so insane bizarre. by his flawed and imprecise kindergarten level research methodology. What are we going to do? There's no way we can breach the Forbidden Zone. There's those robot scorpions everywhere. The Forbidden Zone, where no brain has ever entered. Nor ever <laughs> returned. Let's go there, please. Except Dr. Mobius and the technologies that could save us. They are out of our reach. And Dr. Mobius mocks us. Did you see his cracked monitor? <laughs> He's clearly let himself go. What? 
ask the lobotomy for help? A, I think you need the fluid levels in your logic assist pumps checked. If this lobotomite responded, Dr. Klein, then it is clearly intelligent, perhaps even displays heretofore unknown levels of helpfulness. But what if it's brain? We scooped That's that crazy. out. crazy. We don't even know where we left it. And for putting it back in, none of us have the knowledge. Yes, but it's still aware and responsive. Look at it. It's regarding us even now, with its big teddy bear eyes. If we ask it politely, and leave the part about the unnecessary, ruthless lobotomizing out, it might be favorably disposed to us. You removed my brain? We removed your brain, yes. So soft, barely wrinkled, yet so flush so with knowledge and experience. Brain extraction technology has been standard practice at Big Mountain for an immeasurable amount of time. Once the brain was out, then came the coils. The Tesla coils. The coils of Nikola Tesla. This guy needs to chill. Brainless perk. Your brain has been replaced with an advanced technology. Your head can no longer be crippled, and it's resistant to chemical addictions and shock from bodily damage. All right? Yeah, hey, no need to brag. Wherever your brain is, it's transmitting thoughts to you through the, what, the, um, uh... The Tesla coils in its head! This is fortunate in many respects. If your brain was anywhere in the dome, why, you could access your aggression centers. Circumventing the pacification field, this, this is our brain a no, back. no. We have never been in a fight. We do not want that. Reminds me of my days in American High. And Richie Marcus. But I hurt all over. How much surgery did you do to me? I feel like a badly put together jigsaw puzzle. Why am I all cut up? How much surgery did you do on me? That is my responsibility. Although in truth, the autodoc had done most of the work already. Quite industrious, almost cut into all my investigations. Once it had removed the brain and I misplaced it, other organs began to cry for direction, using your nerves as telegraph wires. Rather than let them send their signals, I removed them as well. Shh, little organs. Go to sleep in your tanks. Dala loves you. What the First heck? was the heart. Heartless perk. The scars in your chest seem to confirm what the think tank is saying. You cannot be poisoned, and filters in your artificial blood pump regular bleeding and healing. Allowing healing items to function at a higher level. Robots are not confused by you and 50% less likely to score a critical hit. Wait, I mean, second was the heart. Brain was first. Third was the spine. Spineless. Due to complications, your spine has been replaced well. Your torso can no longer be crippled and your strength and damage threshold has been increased. All right. Spine. Totally overrated. That arrangement of vertebrae. Look at me, with my lumbar and thoracic <laughs> curvature. Never had a use for any of that. Spineless is what I prefer. You ripped out my brain, where is it? To be correct, you should say, the autodoc took out your brain. It did all the heavy lifting. It has never worked so hard before. It was unusual. It worked so hard on your surgery. It destroyed hmm. its own memory. <laughs> How odd. I bet your brain remembers what happened. Let's go get it, please. That auto dock junk heap was one of Mobius's creations, like the rest of the talking scrap metal in the attic. After that, the brain lost itself. Not in the metaphysical sense. Might have gotten flushed into one of the pipes. Actually, that's pretty likely. If so, it was flushed all the way to Mobius. Foosh! <laughs> That is the sound of flushing. By the Fisher of Rolando, enough of this biological surgery talk. Lobotomite, listen to my voice. It denominates me to ask, but 
We need your help. Okay. In most probable of probabilities, our enemy, Mobius, has your brain. This is not good. He will most likely come after our brains next. Okay. We want you to stop him. Somehow. With science. What about with guns? You said something about needing technology to stop Mor Mobius. First you scoop out my brain, now you want me to save you? We're going to make this decision in the next episode of Fallout New Vegas. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, I encourage you to hit the like button. Hitting the like button helps for the video. Helps for the channel. Helps for your face. See you guys next time.